Principal and Lai, which is on the left, the leader, uh, the, the basically the first premier of uh, P PRC, the People's Republic of China, which is a founding father, laid the ground piece for the uh, United Front framework in China. He took it from uh, Russia, the Soviet Union, and then you know um, injected with Chinese elements into it. So Zhou Enlai and mentioned four principles for the United Front work, which is using illegal to masking the illegal, definitely integrate the legal and the illegal. Uh, nestling intelligence within the United Front and using the United Front as a cover to push forth intelligence. But then let's look at Deng Xiaoping, who is uh, basically um, negotiated by and large with the with the with the UK government for the takeover of Hong Kong. Um, so Deng's speech in 1979 shed a light on that. He said, "The task of the United Front, which is their intelligence framework, and the CPPCC, which is Chinese." People's Political Consultative Conference, okay, in the new period are to mobilize all positive forces, strive to transform all negative forces, which means silence, silence all negative forces into positive one and turning them into positive one. How? Using BGY, okay, and united with all forces that can be united so that all can work in harmony to maintain and strengthen political stability and unity in China, which means they all work for Communist Party. Okay, and to make China a more and powerful socialist country, they did that. They're very successful. Okay, they're very successful, and that's why we have to understand how powerful the tools they're using. And then Xi Jinping mentioned this in 2015. I mentioned this previously. The United Front is about working on people. The United Front is an important magic weapon for strengthening the party ruling position and realizing the dream of great rejuvenation of Chinese nation. Okay, these are the top leader of the Chinese Communist Party saying about United Front work. You get the gist of what they're about to do, right?